you say Yahweh and breathing in is important, but every time you breathe out, you should be putting out something yes. to give to somebody you yes. that you can use to further the kingdom of God. in your office, so I'll be right back. <laughs> so, I'm doing a recap sermon where I have visited before, and it's one of my first ones, and um, the story is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, but to know the story better, we have to go back to see what they could have went through, possibly before they entered their their time of trouble. Right. You see, King Nebuchadnezzar was set on world domination. So he went into the land of Judah and he took over and Thank he besieged you. them Thank and he you. conquered them and he drugged the people of Judah through their own streets and out of their own home. Thank but he brought them back to their land and then he took a draft of the, the strongest, the smartest, the bravest young men. And among those were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Ezariah. Now, you might not know those names yet, but they'll come in later. You see, what happens is they were looked upon as better than the average person. They were looked upon as different. See, Nebuchadnezzar seen something in them that he could use to further his kingdom. But what he didn't know is they didn't serve what he wanted to serve. You see, what happens is they start teaching them the language, the culture, everything they need to know to get to get even higher in this new virgin territory. They couldn't believe what they were seeing. It was a different place. They've never been here before. And then they're presented with their first test. The king is providing them meat and wine from his own table. You see, they're living in the palace with the king. They're greatly looked upon as new men of Babylon. And they're being taken advantage of in some kind of way. And they say, we will not eat your meat. We want the pulse. Yeah. Give me the pulse and give yeah. me the water. So they were looked upon as different. As, as here we are in the first part, they're looked upon as different. They stand out already because they're not eating out of the king's hand. You see, the devil wants us to eat out of his oh. hand. Yeah. So he can use us to, to do evil. But God is providing yeah. through pulse and water. Ten times better I believe that somebody has come out better already. Somebody has already been taken. As they go through their first struggle and they get to a place of unknowingness and they've already been tempted by King Nebuchadnezzar to further his kingdom, to set world domination, to take over. They've already struggled, but they've made it through, and they're better. You see, now here comes the point for spiritual disaster. Here in the King Nebuchadnezzar, he builds his, his sculpture in the plain of Dora, and he says to them, he has a herald cry aloud, he says, As you hear the music... As you hear the music, you will bow down and worship my gold sculpture that's so big and so tall and so gracious. And you're just going to bow down and you're going to worship me like you've never worshipped before. But how many knows we got some? We got three men who like to stand out. Come on. Yeah. Come on. that you just had to like them. Yeah. You just couldn't turn away from them. There was just something about them that you knew there was something different. Come on. Yes. So they play the music. And there's three men that just, they're not giving in. And King Nebuchadnezzar calls them over. And he says, he says, you guys didn't bow. You guys messed up. You, you know, the music's playing. I don't know. Maybe you can't hear. Them. Maybe you just don't know. But they say, no, King, we did not serve your God. We serve the one true God. I'm going to give you another chance to bow, to, to, to bow down to what I have set up for you. You, you guys should be grateful for this. No, King, we serve, and we serve a higher God yes. than you yes. might ever possibly imagine being. 
We serve someone greater. We, we don't even know about our God. Oh. And he says, he says, all right, you don't want to serve. I'm not even going to give you the second. I was going to give you a second chance. No, not no more. Turn the fire apart. Anybody ever had the fire turn apart? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody ever been through a fire before? Yeah. Yeah. 